In this video, we will look at the steps for extracting beams from solids and modifying their profiles. Drop a static structural analysis system onto the project schematic window. Right click onto the geometry tab, select import geometry and open the Baja FSAE chassis file. Right click again to select the edit in space claim option. The chassis parts are imported as solid members, which can be seen as green solid icons in the structure tree. To extract beams from solids, left click on the screen and drag the cursor around the geometry to select all its members. Go to the Prepare tab and click on the Extract tool. In the Beam Profiles tab, there exist the two profiles extracted from the solid model. The extracted beam members are present within the beams tab with their assigned profile type. Click on the Profiles tab, and select the Circular Tube Profile. Click Edit Beam Profile. Change the outer radius to 17.5 mm and the inner to 16 mm. Select all the members of the chassis model and go to Profiles tab. Click on Circular Tube. The custom profile is assigned to all the members. The extracted beams at multiple locations are either longer or too short, creating gaps within the model. These exists mostly at locations of high solid curvature. The gaps can be closed by using the Connect tool within the Prepare tab. Changing the maximum distance to 35 mm will prompt the tool to look for connections within the specified distance. There exist few locations which do not need to be connected as it would change the model geometry, therefore these can be excluded as shown. Click on the green arrow to connect the beams. All beams are connected in this way, leaving no gaps within the model. The connect tool geometrically connects all the members. Currently, the chassis members are geometrically connected but common vertices are not merged within the members. Go to the workbench tab and click on share. Click on the green tick mark. Once, the common vertices have been shared, the beam model is ready to be imported to ANSYS Mechanical. Next, we will add a steel alloy to the materials library. Double-click on the Engineering Data tab. The Materials tab shows the currently existing material present for modeling. Right-click on Structural Steel and click on Duplicate. Rename the material to Structural Steel Alloy. Click on the tab in front of Density and modify it to the known value. And, change the values for Young's Modulus, Yield Strength and Ultimate Strength. Close the Engineering Data tab. In the next video, we will import the chassis into ANSYS Mechanical and apply the different loads and boundary conditions. Thanks for watching.